Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Mac here for another quick review and today we are going to look at one and two step equations. Pretty easy stuff here, so let's fix these screens and we'll jump right into it. Alright guys, so one and two step equations. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is our goal for solving an equation? Well, typically our goal for solving an equation, let me put an easy one up here for us is to find out what x equals, okay? And in order to do that, I need to get x by itself on either side of the equal sign, okay? Now, obviously, I know you guys can probably do this problem in your head and be like, oh, the answer is 5 because 5 plus 7 is 12. Yeah, but let me show you, like, the, the process that we go through to solve this. So in order to get x by itself, I need to get rid of anything that's with x on its side of the equal sign any unwanted visitors, if you will. And right now, the unwanted visitor I have is this plus 7. So in order to get rid of this plus 7, we do the opposite, which in this case is going to be subtract 7, right? So 7 minus 7 cancels out, and I'm left with x by itself on this side of the equal sign. But the most important thing of solving equations is what I call the golden rule of algebra. And the golden rule says, look, in order to maintain balance, whatever I do on one side of the equal sign, I have to do the same thing on the other side of the equal sign, or else it's totally off balance. So if I subtracted 7 on the left side here, I need to subtract 7 on the right side, and 12 minus 7 is 5, which we knew, right? So that applies for all four operations, because there's only four operations that we're going to do in an equation. We're either going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So that was an addition. Let's take a look at a subtraction. x minus 2 equals uh, 12. Right? So once again, I have x here, and it has a minus 2 with it. So I need to get rid of this minus 2, and to do that, I simply do the opposite. I add 2. Right? Those cancel, and I'm left with x by itself. Follow the golden rule. If I added 2 on this side of the equal sign, I add 2 over here. 12 plus 2 is 14. All right, pretty simple. How about multiplying? Let's go with 2 times x equals 10. So now in this case, the unwanted visitor that I have with x here is times 2. So I need to do the opposite of times 2 to get x by itself, which is divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, or basically they just cancel out and leaves x by itself. Follow the golden rule, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Piece of cake. The last operation, divide. 3 equals x divided by 2. All right, now here I've got x on the right side this time, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's, I just need to get x by itself on either side of the equal sign. So what is the unwanted guess that x has? Well, it has a divided by 2 with it. So I need to get rid of the divided by 2 part, and I do the opposite, multiply by 2. The 2's cancel out. I'm left with x by itself. Follow the golden rule. Multiply this side times 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Right? And we know it works because if I replace this x here with 6... 6 divided by 2 is indeed 3, so it works. All right, so that's the basics of one-step equations. Now, what about two-step equations? Well, a couple of things that we know. Well, first, we know that, oops, here, that adding and subtracting are basically the same operation but opposites of each other, right, as well as multiplying and dividing. So in a two-step equation, what you're going to see is you're going to get one of these, an adding or subtracting step, and one of these. You'll just get one of each, right? So what are your options? You're going to end up, you're either going to have adding, multiplying, or adding and dividing, or subtracting, multiplying, or subtracting and dividing. So you're only going to get four different types, okay? So let's take a look at a two-step and see how those are solved. So let's start off with uh, 3 times x plus 4 equals, let's say, 16. 
All right. So I still want to do basically the same thing that I did with a one step. My goal is the same. I need to get X by itself. But this time X has two unwanted visitors. So I have to get rid of them one step at a time. In this case, guys, you always, always, always want to do the adding and subtracting part first, okay? Because we have two parts. We have this plus seven. We also have times three. Those are the two unwanted guests with my X, right? I always want to do, or you guys always want to do, the adding and subtracting part first. Get rid of the adding and subtracting part, always. So let's do that first. I've got this plus four. I'm going to go ahead and subtract it which cancels it out, follow the golden rule and subtract four over here, and then bring everything else down. So I have a three X left equals 16 minus four is 12. So that was step one of my two step equation. Step one, get rid of the add subtract part. Step two, obviously, I wanna get rid of the multiply divide part. So here I've got X times three equals 12. So I have to get rid of the times three part, and we do that by dividing by three. The threes cancel, and I get x by itself, finally. Follow the golden rule, divide this side by three, and I end up with four. So there is the second step of my two-step equation. And that's it. First step, get rid of the adding and subtracting part. Second step, get rid of the multiplying or dividing part. Let's take a look at one more example. All right, let's say I have... Uh, 6 equals 4, mm, duh, 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 plus x divided by 5. There we go. I had to kind of think there for a minute. So, well, I've got my x over here. It's on the right side. No big deal. It doesn't matter if it's on the right or the left. And what two unwanted visitors does X have on its side of the equal sign? Well, it has this plus four here, and it has this divided by five here. So what do we do? We always get rid of the adding and subtracting part first. The adding and subtracting part is right here, this four. It doesn't have any variable with it. It's just chilling as a four. So I want to get rid of this four by subtracting four. So four minus four is zero, it cancels. Follow the golden rule, subtract four over here, six minus four is two, and then I just bring everything else down, x divided by five. So there's step one. Step two, get rid of the divided by five part. So how do we do that? We do the opposite, multiply by five. Those fives cancel, I get x by itself. Follow the golden rule and multiply this side times five, five times two is 10, and I end up with x equals 10 step two of my two-step equation. So there you go, guys. There's just a quick review of how to solve one and two-step equations. Uh, tune in for our next review where we're going to look at multi-step equations. Keep up the great work. I'll see you later.